what are you focused on? Are you so focused on the making of the thing that you neglect doing money generating activities? Chances are you are focusing on the wrong thing right now. So we're going to get into focus and the 80-20 rule. Real Talk with Tian starts now. Hey there, welcome to another episode of the Real Talk with Tian podcast. This is a podcast dishing all the dirt on the realities of running a creative business. My name is Tian and I'm a designer, technical editor, and business coach. See, since leaving corporate almost a decade ago, I've been doing this amazing work full time. It hasn't always been easy, but it has always been totally worth it. Over the years, I've had the amazing opportunities to work with hundreds of makers just like you and tons of big brands. This has given me a front row seat to what it takes to be successful as a creative business. With this podcast, I'm drawing back the curtains to share with you the behind the scenes of the realities of what it's really like, what it takes to run a successful and fulfilling creative business. Welcome to the conversation. Grab a cup of tea or your favorite beverage. It's time for some real talk. Let's talk about the 80-20 rule. Have you heard about the 80-20 rule? I talk about this a lot when it comes to marketing and creating new designs and growing a creative business. It's about getting off the designing and making and creating hamster wheel. It's about doing less and about making more. Because I know that you are capable of making a living and worthy of living the life you want because you deserve it. And that's the core of it. You have to be ready to step into this woman, the CEO that you want to be. So how do you do that? Let's talk about being focused. I spoke on this in a recent training in my membership program, and it's the idea of focus that we work on in inside of Pattern Partnership and the society. These are topics that I'm sure you're wondering why it matters. Right now, you just want those five steps to make that next launch successful. You want that next thing to grow your audience. You want that next thing to generate more revenue. You want that next magic bullet that will generate more revenue for you. You want the tactics, but the tactics don't matter without the strategy. And I say this all the time in my members group because I want the women I work with and you to think beyond what you've already done, to think beyond what you've seen, to think beyond the tactics and that one magic thing and start to think differently, to start thinking about your business as a whole. And this might be a hard concept for you to wrap your mind around right now because you're so busy in this maker space you're on the make stuff, sell stuff, feast and famine roller coaster. But there is another way. And that's what we do in Pattern Partnership. We do a lot of accountability. It's not just about training. It's about taking action and sharing your progress. So for example, on Mondays, we ask what you're doing. And at the middle of the week, we check in to see your progress. And on Friday, we ask you again, what have you accomplished from that list, from that list you posted on Monday? And while we love to see our members achieve their goals and cross things off their list, that accountability thread is not just for box checking. You're not just there to just tick boxes of things that you do or you didn't do. Running a business is not about ticking boxes. So when we see a member post that they didn't finish a sample pattern that they had on their to-do list, and the sample was a main focus, we have to ask, what did you do throughout the week to generate revenue? What did you do throughout the week to set you up to generate revenue? Yes, you're knitting and crocheting, but with the 80-20 rule, once you have a catalog of patterns, amazing works that are already out there under your belt, you can begin to shift the focus from constantly making to now you're marketing more. And that's a major mindset shift to go from thinking that you have to be making and creating all the time to the idea that you have enough 
great material out there that you can now be focusing on reaching your perfect person with your existing catalog. And once you have a catalog of amazing pieces, pattern, works, your marketing should be a big part of your business. Marketing should be 80% of what you're doing to start generating more revenue, to be bringing in more people into your, your sphere, to be bringing in more eyeballs on your work. So as you have more offerings, as you have more work, as you have more patterns out there, you're ramping up the market end to 80% while pulling back on the production to about 20%. And that might be scary for a lot of you who believe that you have to make things to sell things. But the reality is, if you have a catalog that is amazing, at this point, it's about marketing and growing your audience and generating more revenue. Look, your perfect person is waiting for you to show them the solution they desperately need. They are looking for that transformation. And if you're not sure what I mean about your perfect person, I have a free challenge that you can go through that walk you through all of this. I'll share the link in the show notes. But your perfect person, they're looking for a transformation and you already have a catalog of works out there that can be solving the problem that they have. So now at this point, it is your responsibility to put your thing in front of your perfect person to show them the solution. So you have to start showing up consistently. You have to start showing them that you have the thing that they need. And that takes time. Marketing takes time. And if you're not showing up and being visible, how will they see you? How will they find you? And we hear from our members that they don't want to bother their audience. They don't want to be annoying. And that's valid. But if you are not visible, how will you get found? We've heard the concept of if we build it, they will come. That is a myth. We need to start showing up, putting ourselves out there, showing our audience what's available for them and how what we provide can transform their lives. Because if you build it and you don't show people what's there, they will not come. Another thing we hear from our members is that they have already done that. They feel like they're talking to the wall. They put out content and they get no reaction. They do that once or twice and they are deflated. They're ready to give up. And my response to that is when you plant the tree, do you just turn around tomorrow and hope it's bearing fruit? Of course not. It takes time. It takes you showing up day after day, watering it, pruning it, nurturing it, tending to it that over time it will grow strong and bear fruit. So treat your marketing like that tree, plant it, water it, nurture it every day, and it will provide you with a bounty of fruit. Yes, it can be frustrating waiting. You're frustrated, I get it. The marketing piece of your business can be frustrating and overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Show up consistently show up for your audience your perfect person show up with the value and you will begin to see that tree grow and take root and provide fruit and know that when you're marketing and selling and people aren't buying remember that they might not buy from you right now but know that they are watching when you post your thing know that this might not be the right season for them. Know that now might not be the right time, but keep showing up, keep showing up with value because someone not buying from you is no reason to not show up and add value. Your perfect person, they're out there. They're waiting for you. They might have not found you yet. So keep showing up. Show up consistently day in, day out. Your perfect person needs what you offer, so keep showing up and be of value. I hope this resonated with you and where you are in your business. If you need more support, training, accountability, and a community, we have the Society for Makers and Creatives, and we also have Pattern Partnership 
specifically for crochet and knitwear designers. See which one is best for you. Don't continue doing what you're doing if you're not growing and making more sales. Don't keep throwing spaghetti at the wall. Get support. Accelerate your growth working with someone who's been there. I'd love to be able to support you on your journey. You can find links to everything we talk about in the show notes and on the website at tnconnaughton.com slash real talk with tn bye for now thank you for listening to another episode of the podcast all the way to the end everything we mentioned will be listed in the show notes at tnconnaughton.com slash real talk with tn if you have questions on anything i've mentioned or if you just want to book a coaching session go to tnconnaughton.com slash contact dash us to get in touch you got this